Hello everyone, welcome to another um, lecture video in my channel. For those who are new, I am Engineer J. I I am a civil engineer, I'm also a master plumber, and I am currently teaching as an engineering professor. And in this video, I am going to teach you how to size or how to determine the um, diameter of drainage, waste, and vent pipe. In designing for your drainage, waste, and vent pipe, it should always be in accordance to the revised National Plumbing Code of the Philippines. This means that we need to design or we need to adapt the appropriate diameter for our drainage waste and vent pipe. Because if your pipe diameter is lesser than what it is required from the National Plumbing Code, then there could be some um, consequences like backflow or hindi smooth ang ating flow ng waste or it could cause clogging. So we need to make sure that our pipe is appropriately designed. However, if we use diameter more than what it is required, then that could be safest. However, that could generate a much higher cost. Okay, so you need to ensure that you need to consider both the, um, the quality or the safety and the economically or the economical aspect of your project. Now, in designing or in identifying the size of your pipe, first thing you need to do is to compute for the drainage fixture unit or the total drainage fixture unit. So you just refer to table 7-2 of the revised national plumbing code. This can be found in page 80. So we have here the fixtures the type of fixtures and it's um, required or the minimum trap arm diameter so we have here this column and uh, and its equivalent drainage fixture unit like for example here we have um, bathtubs the minimum trap arm um, the trap arm connected to our bathtub should be 38 millimeter and its equivalent drainage fixture unit is 2 and then we also have water closets okay for private installation, the minimum pipe or trap arm that must be connected to our water closet should be 76 millimeter or 3 inches. And the drainage fixture unit here is 4. Now for public installation naman, they have the same uh, minimum trap arm diameter with the water closet for private installation but the drainage fixture unit here is 6. We also have wash basins, um, lavatory, we have 32 millimeter and one drainage fixture unit and so on. So we have a lot of fixtures here and their equivalent trap arm diameter and their equivalent drainage fixture unit. Then after computing for the total drainage fixture unit, then you proceed to the table 7-5 of, uh, of the same um, plumbing code and can be found in page 88. So we have this table here. Now, as what you can see, we have um, columns. This first row here, this one refers to the diameter of the pipe. And uh, this um, third row here, this is fixture units. Now, this is fixture unit to design the vertical pipe. This one is the fixture unit in order to design for the horizontal pipe. Okay. Then, for letter B, this refers to the length, the maximum length that the maximum length of our pipe for vertical pipe we have here 14 to 228 meters now for horizontal we don't have a maximum length for our pipe for vent piping naman we have this number four row here this refers to the fixture unit ranging from one to three thousand six hundred and for this last row here this refers to the length of our vent pipe ranging from 14 to 228 meters okay now um, when we compute for the, the total range fixture unit then we um, trace kung saan siya ma fall okay just like what we did in the design of our waste pipe in the water supply pipe now if your um, diameter or if your fixture unit here falls um, this number two here now this two now take note we have a superscript now this superscript here two refers to that notes we have notes now for number two um, you can choose two here however 
we could we should not consider sink urinals and dishwasher so we can choose to but it should not be sink urinals and dishwasher if we have those three fixtures connected to our vertical pipe then we move to the second higher value or to the next higher value so we move to 16 okay now as what you can see we have 16 here and it has a superscript of 3 now we proceed or we look at the note number 3 number 3 except six fixture unit traps or water closet so therefore if you have a water closet connected to our vertical pipe then this should not be adapted okay instead you move to the next higher value okay now the same as with 32 it has a fixture unit 3 then you move to 48 instead now for 48 we have a superscript of 4 according to number 4 of our notes only four water closets or six fixture unit traps are allowed on any vertical pipe or stack. So if we have um, five or more water closets connected to our vertical, then we should move to the next higher value. And for horizontal naman, now for horizontal pipe, this row number two here, the water closet or the number of water closets connected to our horizontal pipe should not exceed to three. Okay, three water closets or three fixture that has a drainage fixture unit value of six fixture units. Okay, so remember that if our fixture unit, unit here has a superscript of four, then you should count the number of water closets that it is connected to that pipe. If it is more than four, then you move to the next higher value that is for vertical. And if it is more than three, then you you move to the next higher value and that is for horizontal branch okay so re you remember that one now we also have five superscript now for number five based on two percent or 20.9 millimeter per meter slope okay that is only for two percent slope however for one percent or a 10.4 millimeter per meter slope multiply horizontal fixture units by a factor of 0.8 so you need to multiply the fixture unit by 0.8 at yan yung gagamitin mo to locate the fixtures or to locate the appropriate diameter of pipe now we have note here the diameter of an individual vent shall not be less than 32 millimeter nor less in size than one half the diameter of the drain to which it is connected so you remember that then fixture unit load values for drainage and vent piping shall be computed from table 7-2 and 7-3 not to exceed one third of the total permitted length of any vent may be installed in horizontal position when vents are increased one pipe size for their entire length the maximum length limitation specified in this table do not apply so uh, that's e that's um, the specifications now for the length of our pipe okay so let's try to apply this table in real or in actual um, design of our pipe i have here example number one determine the diameter of the horizontal vertical and vent pipe that serve two water closets that's private water closets two lavatories and two floor drains and compute the maximum length of the vertical pipe and the vent pipe as well okay so let's compute first the total drainage fixture unit by proceeding to table 7-2 here now table 7-2 now according to the problem we have three different type of fixtures we have water closet private installation so we have number 29 here so we highlight this one and the fixture unit is 4 okay we also have lavatories which wash basin lavatory single then the drainage fixture unit here is 1 okay remember that one and lastly we have floor drain number six the drainage fixture unit of floor drains is two okay now we compute for the total drainage fixture unit we have um two water closets two water closet 
times the equivalent range fixture unit which is 4 DFU this gives us 8 drainage fixture unit we also have um, lavatories we have 2 lavatories times um, we have 1 drainage fixture unit so this will give us 2 drainage fixture unit and lastly we have floor drain now how many floor, floor drain do we have? we have 2 floor drains times the drainage fixture unit of floor drain is 2 this will give us 4 drainage fixture unit so you, you sum up we have total of 14 total drainage fixture unit so we proceed now to table 7-5 okay so remember the total drainage fixture unit so we go to page 88 in the national plumbing code now remember the total drainage fixture unit that we came up is 14 so first let's um, determine the size of our vertical pipe or the stack pipe now we have 14 so we fall between 2 and 16 correct so between 2 and 16 so we choose the higher value so we choose 16 here okay now 16 we have a superscript 3 here so we proceed to notes we have number 3 according to number 3 except 6 fixture unit traps or water closets now, however we have a water closet connected to that pipe okay so we do not choose 16 okay so we move to the next higher value we have 32 however 32 here has a superscript 3 which basically the same the same and which basically we know that it says that except six fixture unit traps or water closets instead we move to the next higher value so we choose 48 now we have 48 here and the superscript of 48 is 4 so we read number 4 only four water closets or six fixture unit traps are allowed on any vertical pipe or stack however the number of water closets that that is connected to our vertical pipe from the problem is only two so therefore it satisfies the no note number four okay since according to note number four allowable number of water closets is four okay beyond that kailangan natin kailangan natin ng mas malaking pipe so therefore we choose 48 here for our vertical pipe now the diameter that falls at 48 fixture unit is we project sa first row now in the first row we have 76 millimeter diameter so therefore the diameter of the vertical pipe for the said connections or the said plumbing layout should be 3 inches or 76 millimeter now for vertical pipe the diameter should be 76 millimeters or 3 inches now we are done with vertical okay so let's determine the diameter for our horizontal pipe let's go back to the national plumbing code so we um, use the number two rows so we proceed to the second row here horizontal pipe and we have 14 drainage fixture unit as the total drainage fixture unit so we have 14 here now take note we still have a superscript 3 let's move to superscript 3 according to number 3 except 6 fixture unit traps or water closet but since again we have a water closet connected to our horizontal trap so we move to the next higher value so therefore we choose 35 drainage fixture unit here but take note we have four okay four superscript which is according to note number four for horizontal branch the number of water closet should not exceed three water closets 
Okay? Dapat ang number of water closet should be 1, 2, or 3 lang dapat. But since from the problem, we have 2 water closets lang, so that means we have satisfied um, note number 4. Okay? So we choose 35 fixture unit, and if we project to the um, higher row, to the first row, we still have 76 millimeter diameter or 3 inches. So therefore, the diameter of our horizontal pipe is 76 millimeter or 3 inches as well. And we have the vent pipe. Okay, vent pipe here um, serves the same number of fixtures. So therefore, we have the same total drainage fixture unit. So we go to letter C. Okay, this is the vent pipe and row number 4. So the total drainage fixture unit here, which is 4, falls between 8 and 24. So we choose 24 here, okay? And we notice that we do not have a superscript for 24. So that means um, we go to um, the first row. The diameter of our vent pipe should be 51 millimeter or that is 2 inches. So we have the vent pipe which is um, 51 millimeter diameter or that is 2 inches. But you have to check. According to the code, the diameter of our vent should not be lesser than 32 millimeter. And this is greater than 32 millimeters, so this is good. And dapat, it should not be um, lesser than one half of the drain pipe that it is connected. Now, our vent pipe here is connected to our horizontal pipe and vertical pipe, which is 76 millimeter. So therefore, 76 divided by 2, this gives us 38 millimeter. And 51 mm is greater than 38 millimeter. So therefore, 51 millimeter satisfies these two conditions. That is, um, the diameter of the pipe should be greater than 32 millimeter and should be greater than one half of the drain pipe where it is connected. Okay? So we have uh, this diameter of our vertical, horizontal, and vent pipe. Now, we have other questions here, which is determine the maximum length of the vertical pipe and the vent pipe. So we go to the uh, table 7-5 again. Now, we still have the fixture unit. Now, for vertical pipe, we choose 48, right? And if we project to row number 3 downward, this uh, row here, so 48 mm falls to 65 meters. So therefore, the length of our vertical pipe is 65 meters. The length of vertical pipe is equal to 65 meters. This is again the maximum length. For our vent pipe, we choose 24, correct? So if we project to row number 5, row number 5 here, this is the maximum length in meter. So 24 um, is equivalent to, or 24 drainage fixture unit will give us 37 meter, this one, uh, maximum length for our vent pipe. Okay, this vent pipe here is horizontal and vertical vent pipe. So the maximum length of vent pipe is 37 meters. Okay, and these are our answers. So let's move to example number two. We have determined the diameter of the horizontal, vertical, and vent pipe that serve five water closets, public, three lavatories, three floor drains and determine the maximum length of the vertical pipe and the vent pipe. So we, we compute first the total drainage fixture units. So we have five water closets. This is public and public from table 7-2. Um, pu public water closets has a drainage fixture unit of six. So this will give us 30 drainage fixture unit. Now for lavatories, we have one drainage fixture unit, so this will give us three drainage fixture unit. 
Now, lastly, we have la floor drains. We have three floor drains, and the drain fixture unit for a floor drain is two drainage fixture units. So this will give us six total drainage fixture unit. So you add, we have 30 plus 3 plus 6. This will give us 39 drainage fixture unit. This is the total drainage fixture unit. Now we proceed to table 7-5. Okay, so we de we determine the diameter of uh, of the horizontal or vertical. Let's um, choose vertical pipe first. Vertical pipe diameter. Now remember we have thirty nine drainage fixture unit, so we fall between thirty two and forty eight. That is for vertical pipe. Thirty two to forty eight, so we choose forty eight. Now we have a superscript for. According to number 4, for vertical, the allowable water closet should be um, less than 4 or we have um, equal, less than or equal to 4 water closets. So, however, we have 5 water closets. Okay, so we move to the next highest value. So, we have 256 here and we do not have superscript. So, we choose 102 millimeter that is for vertical pipe and that is our diameter now for our horizontal pipe so we fall between 39 and 216 since we have 39 drainage fixture unit now take note we have superscript 5 now for 216 so we choose 216 since we have 39 total dfu so we choose 216 but we have five fixture, um, five superscript, and according to number five, um, that is only for two percent slope. Now, if we have one percent slope of our pipe, then we'll multiply the horizontal fixture unit by factor of 0.8. Now, take note the standard slope of our horizontal pipe should be two percent. Pwede lang tayong mag 1% if there is a obstruction, okay, if masyadong malalim yung ating excavations. However, it should be approved by the administrative authority first kung gusto mo mag 1%. So, we always use 2% slope, okay, unless um, stated or unless approved. Now, in this case, we, we use 2%, so we use 216 here so we apply 216 and the diameter which is equivalent to total drainage fixture unit of 216 is 102 millimeter diameter so vertical pipe we have here 102 millimeter or this is 4 inches now for horizontal pipe so we still have um, the same the size so we still have 102 millimeter or that is 4 inches diameter okay now for vent pipe let's um, go to the table 7-5 again so we proceed to um, letter C for horizontal and vertical vent pipe the fixture unit here is 39 so we fall between 24 and 48 so we choose 48 here and 48 here has a diameter equivalent which is 65 okay so therefore the diameter or the diameter for a 48 drainage fixture unit or a 39 drainage fixture unit should be 65 millimeter and that is for our vent okay so we have now for the length of our vent pipe so we go down but on the same column so we have 55 meters Okay, that is for the length of our vent pipe. Now, for the length of our vertical pipe, so if you remember, we choose 256 here. So, on the same column for vent pipe, we have here 91 meters. Okay, so for vertical pipe length, which is 91, and for the vent pipe, the length should be 55 meters and those are the maximum lengths respectively okay so the vent pipe diameter is 65 millimeters or this is 
2 and 1 half inch okay or that's 2 and 1 half inches then the length naman the maximum length for our vertical pipe the maximum length should be 91 meters and for our vent pipe the maximum length is 55 meters so these are our answers for example number two and that ends this lesson so if you have queries or questions you can comment it down i will try my best to attend all your questions guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos thank you guys for listening and god bless